This is Algebra 1, a review of exponents. I thought it might be a little more interesting this time if we did a couple puzzles rather than the traditional um, Schoology review questions. I did snip it into Schoology for you for the students working from home. Um, so this is what you're going to see, something like this. And what you want to do is simplify the expression on the left and match it with the simplified version on the right. So the first one you're going to see is when you're multiplying exponents. And remember, when you multiply exponents, you add the exponents when they have a, the common base. So let's try this one. So we have 3 times 2. That's going to give us 6. And then x to the second times x. Remember, if there's no 1, there's no exponent, there's really a 1. So I'm going to take x to the second times x to the first gives us x to the third. We add that together. So where you see an A, you're going to match it up with 20. Let's try one that's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to multiply negative 2 times positive 4 is going to give us negative 8. So it looks like I have two choices as my answer. So we're going to keep going. n to the second times n, remember that's to the first, that's going to give us n to the third. And then t to the fifth times t again to the first is going to give us t to the sixth. And we're going to try to find that one. That looks like 18. So where you see d, you're going to match it up with 18. Let me show you what the other puzzle is going to look like. It's going to be dividing exponents. That one was multiply, this one's dividing. And let's try to get one a little bit more complicated. So we have 8 divided by 12. I know 4 goes into 8 twice. 4 goes into 12 three times. I have 1x on the top and 3x's on the bottom. Let me show you what that looks like. So we know we can cancel 1x out, and we're going to be left with 2x's on the bottom, so x to the second power. Now y's, it looks like we have 2y's on the top and 5y's on the bottom. So I can cancel two of those y's out, and it looks like I'm left with three y's on the bottom. So the answer I'm looking for is 2 over 3x to the second power, y to the third power. 2 over 3x to the second power, y to the third power. So it looks like e is the answer I'm looking for. So where you see a 7, you're going to match it up with e. Please try those practice problems. I did include the whole worksheet if you'd rather work it on paper. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.